All right, here they are. Most likely the last two figs of the season. We got a Peter's honey and we got a long doot. All right, now how you may ask, am I getting figs still when the weather is pretty damn cold right now where I live? Well, let me show you. So here's my yard's current situation. You could see fig leaves on the ground, turning brown, okay? And most of my fig trees are going dormant. You could see how the leaves are starting to turn and go dormant. Now, you know, if you take a look at my Atriano, it has no clue that Yep, no, those leaves are not even from it. The leaves here are not even from it. They're from they're from this tree here. So most of these trees are pretty much going dormant. Okay. Look at uh, my cold dom. It's like really gone dormant. There was actually a fig here, and I don't think that's even edible. So how did I get those two figs? Well. This is where something called the fig shuffle comes in. I'm gonna show you what that is. If I take you here and we go in my garage, you're gonna see all these trees have not began to go dormant yet. They actually have figs and the figs are still ripening and the figs are still swelling and everything is moving right along, okay? Now why? Why are things moving right along? Well, you see the temperatures get the coldest at night, okay? And at night is where you do the fig shuffle, where you, you take your, your figs, and if you'll notice, I got all mine on carts, the ones that had a significant number of figs and I'm trying to save them because they're ripening still, okay? So what I do is during the day, I leave them outside and then at night, when the temperatures really dip and get very cold, you bring them in the garage, okay? Now this works pretty good. Some varieties say you can't fool me, like the ever so difficult black Madeira, okay? It's saying, if you don't give me full sun and full outdoor temperatures and that heat that I need, I'm not gonna ripen for you, okay? But some other varieties that are not as pesky are turning color, okay? And beginning to swell and they will ripen, okay? They will ripen. Now that's provided we get some days that are reasonably warm outside. And I imagine, okay, between September and depending on the season, possibly November, there will be days where the sun will shine and the temperatures will be okay, all right? Like above 10 at least. And some figs will still ripen above 10, okay? Like, uh, you know, panache over here, you know the figs swelled, but I don't. I don't think they're they're ripening anytime soon. Okay, they these guys really love the sun. Like this little guy here, forget about it. Just might as well pick it off now. And look how easy that came off. That tells me that the tree is pretty much already going dormant. Even though I I brought it into the garage and I did what I did at night. But certain other varieties, like my long dude over here. Man, this guy, he's going strong. He doesn't care. As long as you give him above a certain temperature, which I would say is about 10, he's going at it. So there you have it. The fig shuffle and how to get your figs ripening even though your season is done and everything has come to a halt. 
All right, so let's see if these things look good and taste good. So here is the Peter's honey. Holy smokes, that looks good. Keep in mind, this is a first year cutting. I think Peter's honey would have ripened a lot earlier than this, but because it's a first year cutting, it's only ripening now, and there's actually a bunch more. Not sure if they will ripen. And then this all time favorite that's been doing so well, Long Doot. Ooh, oh my God, this looks <laughs> really good. And this fig historically has been phenomenal. I've never seen it that deep red before. It could be because of the lack of sun because I did actually keep them in the garage for a couple of days when it was raining two days in a row, even during the day. So let's see, we're gonna try the, uh, the Peter's honey. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mm. I've tasted better. Uh, keep in mind that this is a first year cutting and you know with fig trees, it never tastes as good in the first year when the tree is young. When the tree gets older, becomes more mature, uh, the flavor profiles are more uh, stronger. And I'm gonna try now our long dew. This thing has been, well, first of all, this thing is a meal, okay? And it's been uh, historically through the whole season really, really good. I mean, the taste is, is phenomenal. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now, this is definitely an older tree. The taste is phenomenal. This thing did not care that it spent time in the garage. Um, now this fig, to be fair, this fig did start ripening before I started doing the fig shuffle and bring things in the garage, but it was not fully ripened. It did fully ripen in the garage. So it'll be interesting to see if we get more figs from this tree, how they'll taste. But for now, oh my God, this thing is a winner. Let's see if I can get my, uh, my second opinion here. See if she agrees oh with me. Gosh. All right, so try try this Peter's honey first, okay. and then try that one last. Peter's honey? Yeah. It's a first year tree. Mm. You like it? Yeah, I mean, it is pretty good. I'm sure that Peter's honey is supposed to taste a lot better than that, but this is such a young tree. It's actually good. You like it? Mm. All right, all right, and well. this one's what, sorry? This is the long dew. The big oh one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, try that. <laughs> this is a fig, huh? Wow. That's a really wow. good one. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited about this fig. This was the first year that it was producing a lot of figs, and um, I think next year this tree this is, is going to ripen. I don't know. Yeah, well, there's some more, but I'm not sure if they're going to ripen. But definitely, uh, I don't know. I might consider putting this tree in the ground. We'll see. That's a really, really good one. Wow. I want more. <laughs>